Hey guys, it's Nathan here at Western Welding Academy. It is Tuesday, 6 o'clock again. Time to do our live um, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. If you guys are watching, we're going to do some Rate My Welds. Um, go ahead and DM us on Instagram. Send us your weld pictures there, and we will check them out and rate them. We have the James the <laughs> Unicorn Packard with us tonight. I knew he was going to say it. <laughs> TikTokers, go over to go over to Instagram to, to see the welds. It's a little better over there for you. Uh, Western Weld at Western Welding Academy on Instagram. And, uh, TikTok's still not a uh, streaming too well for us, so it's a little harder to do all of them. But James, what you what do you have been doing today? Man, I've been I've been teaching welders. Yeah, we've been pounding them out. We got a good group of new ones. Sound guy said I wasn't supposed to rub that mic, so. What's it sound like? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta mess with the group, otherwise they don't know I'm here. <laughs> He's turning red back there now. He he told me not to do it. I couldn't help it. Yeah, make sure you have any questions, comment on the page. We'll see about answering them. Um, and still make sure you're sending those pictures, DMing them to us over on Instagram so we can check out them welds. Um, yeah. What do we got on here? Blake Jackson. Blake Jackson. Looks like, oh, yeah. I wonder if this is, I got a, I got a student who's got a buddy who's a, sounds like a super good TIG welder. And he showed me a picture of a piece of stainless look real similar to this today, and I'm not sure it's not that guy. I'm probably completely wrong, but we'll see what <laughs> we'll happens. We'll hope you're right. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, okay. I cut him down pretty good on the last live I did. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Looks Man, like, that's a pretty good looking weld yeah, there. Looks like some alloy. Looks like looks like stainless, but I, you know, who knows? There's all of that yeah. stuff out there. Looks the same. It's a pretty nice color there. Looks like that was freehanded. Yes, sir. I was gonna say freehand. We didn't want the cup on that one. Man, that's I don't know. It's a pretty nice weld. Zoom in a little bit on that thing. We got zoom now, guys, so we can really pick you. Oh apart. yeah. Man, we look at them ripples. We yep. can measure them suckers. Yep. <laughs> a little stab and dab and run, huh? Yeah. What do you think? I don't see no undercut on it. Well, that's pretty nice. I mean, uh, you see down toward the beginning, they start got a little bit of V's and them ripples, and they start smoothing out, start getting a pretty good heat. Finally got that heat rolling. Yep. Yeah, it's probably not pretty good cold. at the end there. Uh, nice stop, though. Really yeah. pretty blue. Yeah. What are you going to give that weld there, I'm going to give that one a nine. Let's, let's knock her out of the park right out of the gate. Yeah, I'm that's give a that good a one. Nine. That's a good one. That's no a good first weld. I hope the rest of them come in like that. Yeah. Heck yeah. Blake what? Blake? Blake, Blake Jackson. Blake yeah. Jackson, you never trust a man with two first names. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go, to our, go to our Instagram, DM us your welds uh, at Western Welding Academy. <clears throat> and for those of you who are looking to, looking to come learn how to weld, apply at weld, uh, apply to weld.com. Did I get it right? Apply to weld.com. What's that one thing right there? Oh, cowboy coming, go to. These are just guys that didn't make make it want to dress like pipe brothers. <laughs> it's <the> around. <laughs> oh Cow, man, Cowboy that's a, <laughs> You just told on yourself right there. You put Cowboy coming. Yep. The same. Yep. Same freaking word there. Cutting all them people down, and he drives the Dodge. Man, uh, Cowboy Cummins there. Um, I'm gonna have to say you're wrong on that one, man. Um, we're, we're just welders that. We're getting tired of welding. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come run with us a day or two and see how it feels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you pick it. We'll weld it. Yeah. Don't drive the Cummins, though. <laughs> we need something reliable. <laughs> Come on, Nate. I know you got something to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. Rate my weld 61422. You rate my weld. <laughs> <laughs> How many years <laughs> have you guys been welding? James, how many years have you been welding? Uh, it's over 20. I started in, I started learning, really learning in 1997, and then I finally passed my first test in 99, and then pipe in about 2000. Yeah. James, you're not supposed to tell your age. I didn't say nothing about <laughs> age. They don't, I might have been, I might have been 15 years old when I started. They don't know. Five. I'm only 25. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he come out of the womb well <laughs> that'd be a c-section he had a stinger in his hand when he came out no they out. didn't have cut my way out <laughs> <laughs> um i've been welding uh i started welding in high school about 16 
Um, but actually went out, went straight to welding school right after high school. Started my first pipe job at 19. So I've been welding since I was yeah. 2007. So yeah, that's what's that? Somebody do some math for me. That's why I'm a welder. <laughs> 15 years. That's right. Yeah, right at 15 Right at years. 15. Yeah. So. Yeah. What we got here? Austin Buckner. Austin Buckner. MIG uphill. Looks like it's turned upside down. Yeah, though. I didn't say that's a upside down uphill. You can definitely tell it's uphill though, the way it's welded, the way the weld looks. It's an up hand, up hand downhill. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's not terrible. Looks like it's pretty trashy iron on there. Yeah. We call it uh, gorilla weld. We call that the old, the old Arizona super weave. Yeah, I think I'll give that. One. I mean, that's a pretty clean weld. It's made, but I'll give her. I'm gonna give that one. Not too bad for eight. a wire monkey. Yeah. We'll give Pretty that good. a. Yeah. What'd you give it? I give it an eight. Eight? Yeah, it ain't pretty, bad. You're pretty nice. I yeah, know. I think wire feed anybody. That's why everybody it. likes me. <laughs> yeah, that's why everybody does wire. <laughs> I'll get. Uh, I don't know. I'll give it a seven. All right, so seven. It's and pretty wide. <laughs> yeah, we'll average it seven and a half. Awesome. Come on, TikTokers, go over to go over to Insta. I would, I would cut down TikTok, but I don't want him to shut us down. Thanks, Nate, for the help on the vertical filler weld. Braden. Oh. Braden. Must be one of your students? Yeah. Heck Sweet. yeah, Braden. You're welcome. Sweet. It's my pleasure. I never thought about that. I should have told my guys if we're doing a live. I didn't chime in. Oh, no. I got a pretty rough group, though. I don't know if it'd be PG. <laughs> Them guys don't know their boundaries. Yeah. Right. What do you got there? Who's this? Michael Potts. Michael Potts. Well, structural 7018. Looks like. Yeah, you got to brush that stuff off, man. That bit of smoke kind of hides, hides things. I'm pretty hard on guys that don't clean it off. You got to take take some pride in that work. <clears throat> Beads look okay. Looks like they're a little far apart from what I can see. Yeah, they are spread a little bit. That middle one. That's hard to tell. The middle one kind of looks a little low. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm going get, with the six there, Mr. Michael Potts, because six, uh, yeah. you didn't clean it off. Got to clean that stuff off, man. Heck yeah. What do we got next? We need the old, how long does it take? How long does it take to get a welder certificate? Ooh, about Two Pete hours if you're 1082. fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty, pretty vague question. It, yeah. it, if you're asking how long it takes to learn how to weld good enough to get a welding certificate, it's kind of up to the individual, but I would say on average, I don't know, there's some good helpers out there can do it in a couple of months. We can get you, we can get you, we can get you a cert in about a month. Yeah, about a month. The guys are tested out on plate, on structural, so. Yep. It's a. Uh, well, that first structural program is uh, five weeks. and Five weeks. Most of them are out of that early. Oh, yeah. Usually. Yeah, so. so that's what I'd say. I mean, about five weeks of welding, you can have her. That's what's good about our experience. We know we know what not to do. We've done so many wrong things. We know what not yeah. to do. Now we can we can make it right every time. That's what I started learning to do with a lot of the guys that are just starting welding. When we're, I never touched a stick rod or anything yeah. before in their life. I'll fire up and I will show them what not to do yeah. first. Yep. Because you show them what to do, it, just, it looks easy. Right. You get it, but you show them what not to do and what it looks like. They freaking, they, it nails it and they yep. catch right on right you away. You bet. So. <laughs> what do you got here? High. There's a little bit of, a little bit of 78. It looks like a vertical upside down again, unless you weave that flat. Who's this? Uh, no name. Robbie. Robbie. Roby. Roby. I think his name's Roby. Roby. Not bad looking well, Roby. He must be foreign. Yeah, not too bad for 7018. I can't tell what position it is. Look it looks like a it looks like a vertical weave, but it looks like he's showing it flat. Yeah. Looks good though. There ain't an ounce of undercut on there. No undercut, good overlap, overlap on the yeah. beads. Yep. Pretty yeah. consistent. For low high, for low high, I'm calling that an eight. Like that, that's, yeah, that's not a pretty bad. good one. Yeah. From, from our perspective, anyways. 
It might be about two inches tall, but I can't tell from here. Not bad. Go to uh, go to our Instagram, TikTokers. Uh, welds look a little better over there. I don't really know what you guys are seeing, but that's what I'm that's what I'm being told. <laughs> that's what our teleprompter told me. Go over to Instagram at yeah. Western Welding Academy. Apply to weld.com. You know the you know the drill. We've all said it. <laughs> yeah, man, we got all kinds of welds popping in here what today. What is that? It looks like a little aluminum. Looks like aluminum, as they say in Europe. Aluminum. Oh, Europe. Oh, yeah, you just come from over the big pond, just, didn't you? I just, just a week out of vacation. Yeah? I Where'd did. you go? I went and visited Italy for three weeks. Uh, you know, a lot of people always, a lot of people ask, especially on these platforms, what has welding done for you? Or why would I want to be a welder? You know, why do I want to work 60, 70, 80 hours a week and make 65, 70 bucks an hour? Man, if you plan your money right, you can take three-week vacations in Europe. You, you, I, I went to Italy. We, we ran around Italy for three solid weeks and just loved it. Looked at, looked at piping in Italy. They use piping all over the world. Uh, everywhere I looked, there was painted two-inch, three-inch pipe, stick welded. They uh, just painted, huh? Yeah, they just painted the yeah, color of the building. Is the weather good enough down there? They probably don't have to insulate Yeah, they don't have weather. Stuff. Like, oh. it's 75, 80 degrees all the nice. time. It's beautiful. Cool. <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, yeah. Big manufacturer there that manufactures steel pipe flanges and fittings. Oh yeah, you were telling me about that. Yeah. I mean, yep. yeah, and I mean, I've seen a lot of like big stainless fittings yep. and stuff from Italy. Made so in Italy. Yep, that's we probably drove, where it come from, yep. huh? We drove right by the factory. It that's was cool. cool. It was awesome. That'd been awesome to tour that place. I know it. I I wonder if I couldn't have because the lady we stayed with, her dad retired from there after like fifty some years. Oh, well, we'll probably made pipe that we welded <laughs> on. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Um, so some aluminum, huh? Looks like you got away from them there towards the end. Yeah. Did you, were you ever like walking down the streets or anything, just like looking around and like checking out welds? And yeah. So that's that's what I ended up doing. Of course, you see a lot of buildings that are all made out of stone and and, and um, rock and plaster. But I just happened to be looking through a piece of grating and I seen a two inch pipe. I don't know what it was, gas line or water line or something, but I happened to see the welds on there, and I couldn't help myself but go look at them. <laughs> <laughs> see how they do it across yep. the sea there. Yep. Yeah. I know one of them was 7018, and there was one I looked at. It It must have been flux core, but I don't know. There's quite a bit of porosity in it. They just painted over it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it was for. but It must not have the strict codes like we do here. I don't think so. Probably not for municipalities. Okay. All right. Well, back to this weld. Sorry going go on a little rant there. Yeah. <laughs> Nice aluminum butt weld there, corner weld. Corner joint. Corner. What do you think here? It's okay. I don't know. Eight-ish. I don't know. It's not bad. It's shiny. Looks like it got really hot on them there towards the end, you know, as aluminum does. Yeah. I don't know much about aluminum, but I know every time I've welded it, I get about three good, three good dabs. And then I'm out of control. Like, I can't handle it no more. <laughs> it is pretty hard. I mean, you got so much going on. But just, I mean, normal TIG well, and you got your TIG rig, and you're feeding your wire. Yep. And with that, you got to run your foot pedal and all that stuff, yep. too. So it's yep. a lot going on. It I takes a, definitely take talent. I haven't spent much time on it. I'd say seven-ish, eight-ish, right in there, seven and a half. Seven, seven and four-eighths. That's what we'll call it. Seven and four eights, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what we got here, Bobby? Bobby. Pimento. 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 Nice stainless socket well. Looks like about Ooh, like one got inch. Hot on him. <laughs> she was getting warm. That's a pretty nice looking well, though. Look how he caught them corners. Yeah, yeah. That's what I usually do when I'm doing socket wells. I make sure I come out there and catch that rounded corner there. Don't, so don't stop let it stay sharp. Yep, yeah. sharp. <clears throat> Man, yeah, not could've. bad at all. Yeah. Looks like he just pulled off that sucker. Didn't get a chance to brush it <laughs> off. But yeah, yeah. Usually if you cook something that, and it starts getting that color, I like to yeah. let her cool off and brush her a little bit. But get her brushed off before anybody else sees it. Yeah, it's a nice looking weld, though. It is a nice looking weld. Yeah. What do you think? Nine? Yeah, that's probably a nine. Nine? That's a pretty pretty good looking weld. Socket weld, stainless socket weld for me are a nightmare. Like, running around them, things like that. Holy cow. I mean, there's so much work. I mean, just travel and then. There's there's you know. as much work in one inch as there is in six inch. By oh, the yeah. time you've got it fit up and welded. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, not bad. Nine. Nine, Bobby. Bobby Pimentel. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby. Green G up hill, Joseph Ooh. Hecht. <laughs> the media people are good. They ought to be up here doing this, not us. Joseph Hecht. That sounds German. Joseph Hecht. Holy buckets. There's there's a super That's weave a on that there. one now. <laughs> Golly. I'd say low high. Yeah, for sure. Look at the smoke. It's definitely 78. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Stepping wide and stepping tall. He didn't leave any undercut, though. I mean, oh. got them all tied in. But, boy, that's ropey. Looks like a stepladder. <laughs> yeah, a little that. inconsistencies here and there. Yep, yeah. yep. Slow down. He, need to, he, needs to, he needs to stay with that puddle. Slow down a little bit and stick with that puddle. He's just basically doing a bunch of horizontals in there <laughs> to tie the edges yeah, together. Yeah, that's what I always try to say when you're doing that vertical weave. Um, don't leave the puddle. Don't you got puddle. when you move over, move over. Just you got to move over pretty quick, but just slow enough to bring the puddle with you. Yep. So that way it'll look like more like one continuous puddle yeah. instead of two different ones forming. Yeah. But uh, yep. I don't know. you guys on TikTok can't see it, go to go to our Insta at Western Welding Academy. I'm gonna give that one. A, I'm gonna give that one a six. And I'm a half. with you. Yep, I'm with you. Six and a half. Yep. No yeah. undercut. Needs a little work. Guy's got talent, apparently. He just needs somebody to show right. him the right yeah. way to do it. What we got in comments? We got any good questions in ninth the comments? Grade. Ninth grade freshman. I wonder what a ninth grade senior looks like. If he's a ninth grade freshman. <laughs> wasn't there, last week there was a senior on here that said he was 15, wasn't there? <laughs> that must be yeah. the ninth grade senior. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we got the guy that was always on the uh, doing the crazy stuff, working on the forklifts up in Canada. Canada, eh? Yeah. Right on. <laughs> people on. I get a lot of people that ask me if I'm from Canada. I don't. I don't yeah. know. I sound normal yeah. to me, but <laughs> apparently not. How do you send your weld to get reviewed? Shamu one. Shamu one. <laughs> <laughs> Go over to Instagram, Western Weld Academy on Instagram, and DM it to us on there, and we will check it out. Uh, DM that whale to us, pun intended. <laughs> Trying to get better. That's a, that's the ninth grade freshman, right? Goes. Yeah. Let's look at that thing real close. See if we can give him any tips to make it look a little better. What is that? That looks like a. That looks like an AC weld. It looks like. A, you think that's maybe sixty, thirteen or maybe seventy fourteen or some weird farmer yeah, rod that, like that. Yeah, that flux that, looks a little. Yep. Yeah, that that shiny shiny weld yeah. like that looks like an AC finish. Uh. I don't know. What was his name? Or their name? I can't assume. I can't assume. Oh, yeah, Dylan Parker. It'd Dylan be a strange name Parker. for a girl, but I've been wrong before. Dylan Parker. I don't know, man. You're doing You're doing good. Like, you can see the progress in those two welds. Yeah. That one on the left there, <laughs> that was a rough yeah. go of it. And then the oh, one yeah. on the right looks pretty good. Or maybe it yeah. – I don't know which way you guys are seeing it, but to me, the, the rough one's on the left, the good one's on the right. Yeah, I would say uh, that's a good, pretty good looking weld there. One on the right, just uh, maybe instead of running the short ways on the plate, turn it around yes. and run the long ways, so you yep. can get a lot more rod and burn totally. time in there. I totally um, agree. That'll with that. definitely help you out. And then, then for sure, make sure you're cleaning your splatter off there. So yep. that's number one. Yeah. Send us some more information on that. What what rod are you using, and what is it AC or DC or what? Because I'm curious. Dylan Dylan Parker. Ooh, Ooh, what we got here? Oh yeah, There's Thomas James the Third. Hey, oh. you guys on TikTok, you better come over here to Instagram yep. and check this weld out. It's yep. pretty nice. You looking guys weld. want to see some weld, and now we got some here. Big old socket weld. What it looks yeah. like a it's nice like weld. A collar on it. Yeah, it looks like a six inch from here. I don't know what it is. Ain't that crazy? You can almost tell the pipe size. The I know. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh, there it is. Brush. Who's this guy? Something James the Third. Thomas. Thomas Jones. Jones. Thomas Jones. That's like the most common last name. That's why they put the third on there. I think to set him apart. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Well, Thomas Jones. Stick Where, well too. Is that his too? Zoom in on that one. I want to pick that one apart. 
<laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this guy here, he's he's a hard one to get anything by. He's pretty picky. The top of that's colorful. That is a surely that's not stainless stick, is it? Look at the colors at the top of that. I can't. Yeah, right I can't oh, tell. That's yeah, colorful. that's man. If that's it looks like I don't know. It looks kind of like low high, but if that's stainless stick, I can't really pick it apart. Right. I can't tell. <laughs> Come on, Jones the third, Mister. Let's see. What do you got? What is it? Like, what's the fillet weld? It looks good. I wanted to really. I wanted to find a flaw in that because your stainless is so good. I wanted to give you something to worry about, but apparently you're not too worried. <laughs> I don't know. That stainless to me is a ten. That's a that's a. Yeah, that's good looking. That's weld. a nice looking weld. The fillet weld, if it if it's stainless stick, the fillet weld's a ten for sure. Because there's like three people in the world that can weld stainless stick, and Mister Jones is one of them. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, I got your last name. Mister the third is the is the one of them. <laughs> 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 yeah, nice job. That's a that's a good looking weld. He must do that professionally. Oh, I had a joke come to my mind about that. I I can't say it on the air. Golly, we're gonna have to start getting waivers and permissions from parents so we can tell good jokes on this platform. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got some some weld a let yep, weld a let thread a let. Yuckle oh, 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 well, go zoom in on that top one. What's that big old art oh, mark oh, way out oh. there? Yeah, there's another term for that too that I can't say on the air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, cut that one out. Get filer down and get QC, uh, QC over there to mag yeah. particle it, right. check for cracks. Those are pretty nice welds though. I mean, them OLEDs are can be a booger to stick weld, um, depending on the position you're in. But. Langan Creek. Oh, we got some more welds there. We don't have just OLEDs. We got some pipe welds. Some pipe. Ooh, that looks good. Shh. Ringed her with a file, but. Man, that, that Man, looks I good. got my butt chewed on the job site one day Did for you? doing that. Yeah, I was uh, actually doing it when the QC came up to check my weld. <laughs> he caught me. Um, I had that file turned straight up and down, just ringing that pipe. Yeah, Putting some undercut would, in there for him? Yeah, he was not happy. <laughs> I've never had an issue with it, like. I, I, I've actually had guys ask me, you know, straighten up them edges. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but so I learned that's, I mean, after that nice butt too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I learned don't turn your file straight up and down and run it across the pipe Keep like that. You got to take that sucker flat and you take yeah. it out of the weld, not the pipe. Yes, sir. Yep. So, if you yep. guys are ringing your weld, make sure you do that. Yep. TikTokers, get over to Instagram, man. That one's missing a good one here. That's low high. Yeah. A horizontal, it looks like. And it is slick. Yeah, if you're good like James, you don't have to ring your welds, but yeah, James the third, that guy, that guy before us here, <laughs> Jones. Sorry, Jones, Mister the third. Man, that is a pretty weld though. Dude, Horizontal. that's a good looking weld. One there. thing, I all them grinder marks that one spot. I hope that ain't all stops. Hope that's just a high spot you're uh, knocking down. I bet down, those but. are all the stops. Yeah, if that's all your stops, you gotta make sure you're staggering them suckers. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, as good as that is, a little tweak like that, and that guy's unstoppable. I bet those all them. Threadlets were part of that whole deal, huh? I'm gonna give that one. What do you oh, think? look, he's got him an outlaw hood too. Some of <laughs> What's our that buddies, say on it? Some of our buddies at Outlaw Leather, leather, shady what? Slim shady? Oh yeah, I can see some words on there that aren't PG anymore. Huh? <laughs> Sorry guys, we gotta we gotta blank those out. Mom and Dad won't appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. But you see that, guys? That's how you do that out That's in the field for a lot Look of you that. kids that haven't ever seen it. One bow there was a flange on that 90. Right there. That one right there. Look at that flange, that weld, that, that 5G on that flange 90 up there up top. It is. Ring that one, too. But, man, that sucker straight as an arrow. Yeah, it is. I'll give the, I'll give the thread lets like an 8 because of the arc mark. But I'll give these ones here a 10 for 7018. Those are... Those are professional welds there. Yes, they are. Nice job. Right out in the field, out of the rollout wheel. That's that's good. Yeah. Yeah, those look nice. Apply to weld.com if you want to come learn how to do it like that. I don't know where that guy learned it, but we could tune him up a little bit. We got some we got some tips to help him a little better. Yeah. There's always tips on learning There's how to always, weld. I mean, always, always improvement. 
That's another good one. Is that the same guy? Golly. Man, he's getting production, too. He's, oh, well, I don't know how much production he's getting, as many pictures as he's taking of his wealth. That is <laughs> slick. Yeah, a, lot of jobs, <laughs> a lot of jobs I've been running off on yeah, doing all that. Yeah, Like, he only got to show these pictures because he got run off for using his phone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, there's so many... Language so many group. jobs and stuff I've been on, I was like, man, I wish I'd have got some pictures yeah, so right? I could memorize all that stuff. I got, so I was on a job in Lost Cabin, Wyoming, when we built that train tree, and I still had to use the old style, because we didn't have phone cameras, right? So I had an old style camera. I got I got film film of a crane we had out there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's put yeah. that in the Smithsonian. Well, we go right old Lang in there. We, yeah, we already did a. All his 7018, his, his pipe welds are, those are tens. That was, that was slick, Mr. Creek. There's some hard wire, some migging. It actually looks pretty good. A little wide, but hunt, hunt, hunter, hunter oaks. Hunter oaks. I'd rather hunter elk, but I guess if you're into hunting oaks, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. Not bad for for some wire, mig wire. I'm not. I just, oh man, I'm not very good at mig wire. Like I don't, I haven't put spent enough time on there to to really get the gist of it. Yeah, I always got bored with it. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't it, it's a little easy. Yeah. Yeah, it's not much of a challenge. Um, I'm going to give that one a better. I mean, it's, you can see in between them ripples. Uh, All that. Stepping a little far there. I mean, it's a good looking weld, but. Didn't clean out the garbage. Yeah. The, what, is, what, is the, what is the scale on that hardware? Is that silicone just like it is in a, in a TIG wire when you, when you burn it in? I believe so. Yeah. You should have cleaned that off. Clean your welds off, guys. That's that's like a number one. As soon as you're done welding, wire wheel goes on it. Bless your TIG, and then it's a wire brush. But clean it. That has got to be clean. Like, that's number one important. Yeah. You know, we'll have to give a lot of these guys really some props on their nice-looking welds. I know I've, I've laid some nice ones down, and I try to get a picture of my weld. Like, yeah. man, you got to dance around that thing. Oh, dude. Try to get the light right. Yeah. Like, it takes 30 minutes to take a nice picture. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we ought to give him props on their photography. <laughs> Maybe the weld really wasn't that good, and he just made it look that good with his yeah. camera skills. <laughs> I know our I know our camera guy, Bo Beautiful. He's he's got some skills, mad skills. Yeah. You ought to see the pictures he took set up in our office. Oh, Unbelievable. Yeah. Didn't even airbrush him. <laughs> I had GQ calling me. We got over there in the comments. Oh, <laughs> Jacob. I can't see what's up, but Diblet. I know, even with my goggles, I couldn't see Jacob it. Diblett, what's Diblett. the best engine-powered unit to run for general maintenance and service calls? Oh, for general maintenance and service calls? I don't know. What's considered general maintenance? Probably them little Miller Bobcats. Oh, that's what you always see on them service trucks with the gray. Yeah, I mean, that's like... Or, or a Ranger. Yeah, the reason I like those littler machines, I mean, if you want to, you can go with a bigger, expensive... I mean the yeah. pipe row, but if you do, if you run a service truck, your truck's already heavy. You got a crane on it. I mean, you got yeah. a lot of the other stuff. So you want to run light. So yeah, those little Miller Bobcats or even those new uh, Rangers. Yeah. The what's those new ones called? Those little bitty suckers. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what they are. They're, they're too new. I haven't seen any. But that's what I've always seen on service trucks. They'll have their crane on one side on top of the toolboxes, and then they'll have a little Ranger or a Miller Bobcat or something on the other side. Because you get AC power, and you're not welding anything heavy, I doubt, if it's the type of service truck I'm thinking of. Yeah, and then you got your 10, or eight, at least an 8 to 12K um, generator, generator yeah. so you can run anything off yeah. of it. So. Yeah, I mean, that's what I would suggest for just a service truck. Yep. You know? If you go into specially welding like pipe, you definitely want to go to a little bit heavier duty machine. Yeah, but. yeah. like a Lincoln 300 or an SA200. Anything Lincoln, really. Yeah. I'll probably get fired for saying that, but. It's okay. Playing for <laughs> funds. What kind of welds playing for funds got here for us? Is that a it's, wire? Yeah, it looks like some more. Want some square tube? Wire. Yeah, nice. Wrapping the corners. Pretty yeah. decent. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. That's what that hard wire should look like. Those other ones were a little bit wide. Needed to clean that little bit of gunk off there, but... I'll give that eight for hardwire. That's what it should okay. look like right there. Nice tight yeah. scales, not super wide. Oh, yeah. And again, you guys over at TikTok, make sure you come over to Instagram so you can check out all these welds for us. Yes. And make sure you send them in to us. DM them on Instagram so we can check them out. 
And you guys, do, some of you guys, come over and look at them. Give us your thoughts on what you think they ought to be. We'll see if we line up. We'll see just how knowledgeable you think you are. Look at all the likes to the hosts. I like that. Likes to the hosts. Thanks, guys. Girls. People. Somebody was Politically having a correct. good day. What? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Who's that? Who's guy? Oh. Even, man, even with my gurgles, I can't read them. I can't read them <laughs> comments. <laughs> Ooh, there it, it likes. Is. It likes. Wow. Ben De La Rosa. Did I say that right? 23. Trey Welds 402. Like, he sent his welds in. Look at my welds, he says. Trey Welds, where's your welds at? Is that one of his? That's not one of his. Where's Trey Welds at? Come on, Trey Welds 402. We're looking. We're looking for him, dude. We're trying. Andy Stevens sent you a message. Andy, how's it going up there? Oh, I love it. <laughs> Man, that one right there, that's got to mm, win. That's a pretty 11 pretty and good. a half right there. That one's <laughs> slick. That's a good looking weld. <laughs> Oh man, love it! Thanks for the make joke. Those right around lunchtime. <laughs> that's oh, awesome. That one's not going to make the pen test. <laughs> that's good. Where's that tray welds? Four oh two. Dylan Parker. Not sixty thirteen. So that Dylan Parker, that was sixty thirteen. That you he were said. right there, man. Yeah, probably yeah, this AC. guy. He's got an eye. That's a trained eye right there. What do you say? Uh, Pretty good for a twenty five year old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, my eyes are still fresh. <laughs> Sixty thirteen, good. Yeah. Yeah, not bad for that old farmer rod. So was that Dylan Vegas, huh? Dylan Vega. What you got there? More hardware. That's some more hardware. A lot of hardware hands tonight, huh? Yes, there is. I wonder why. Well, I mean that's where a lot of guys start learning how to True. weld in school. You learn on wire. Yeah. I know uh when I started they made me start on uh, 7018, though, that was the main thing. Yes. I stayed on that stuff for days and yeah. days and days. Yeah, rough. I never had to deal with wire until after I'd already welded pipe for quite a while. Like, it was one of those I kind of had to get into to keep working <laughs> for a while. So I uh, I didn't touch wire since um, I only touched it once. I went and took a couple tests. It's actually when I got up here to Gillette. I decided to want to stay in yeah, town, and yeah. 2014, when things got a little tough, yep. um, oil field dropped down. It was really hard to find a job around here, and I was still new to the area, so I didn't didn't really know anybody, yeah. no good contacts, um, but I knew I wanted to stay here, so I started hunting around. I was like, man, maybe I'll go to the mines. Yeah. It's like, man, there's a lot of work in the mines. A lot of, it's a lot of wire and dual shield, though. Lots a lot of dual, of dual shield. shield. That's where I did mine um, was dual shield. And uh, I had to take a dual shield one-inch plate test, and... I mean, I hadn't touched it since I got out of welding school. Like, yeah. and then I only did it like three times, You're right? Just enough to get familiarized with it. And <laughs> it was done. But told the guy, he goes, "Yeah." I said, "Man, I said I'll take the test." Like, but I, I, I haven't done dual shield since. Yeah. School. He goes, "All right, I'll give you a couple minutes. Um, figure it out. Yeah. Set the machine." So I went over and messed with the machine. Well, I was having a hard time. I finally got lucky and figured it out. And, um. Called, went over there and told him, I was like, hey, let's do this. And took the test, and by golly, if I didn't pass. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if anybody's ever touched the wire, you'll, you'll know the machine's half the battle. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> Usually you tear the machine apart, fix it, and then start yep. welding. Machine, and then the stick out. Stick out yep. is number one when yep. you're doing that dual shield. What's this here? we got a bunch of pictures of Tyler. There, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I think our social media team's uh, messing with us. So anyway, we're going to rate this weld here. Yeah, we probably better. Uh, I don't know. It's not terrible. It's not. It's not as good as the last. Uh, not quite as good as the last one. What did we rate that last hardware? Was that a? We rated that. What was an eight? What did we rate that? An eight. Yeah. We'll call this the seven. This guy needs a little bit of work, but he's on the right track. Like we're, yeah. we're doing good. Yeah. I bet another another three days solid just welding fillets like that. Psh, got it. Got if you it guys good. got any questions, make sure. Uh, Asking them, get yep. on there and comment. DM Speaking and DM us, DM us and TikTokers come to come to Instagram. The only stupid question is the one that wasn't asked. That's right. 
Ooh, Caleb Lee Gibbons. Gibbons. I think Gibbons needs a little bit of practice. Oh, yes. I feel like that's pretty good tack. Yeah, yeah. He's trying. He's tacking least he's a couple doing, I beams I, together, it looks like. I'm... I have a hard, I give these people a hard time sometimes. Like I get, I might get a little carried away, but honestly, if you're welding, you're trying. If you're trying, you're learning. And so, if I give you a hard time, take it with a grain of salt. That's just who I am. If you <laughs> give him a hard time, just come Western Welding Academy and prove him wrong. Yes, that's right. That's think. the best way to do it. <laughs> yep. You always let your welds talk for you. <laughs> There's some more. There's that. Oh, that's some socket that's welds again. Socket welds. Is that the same dude? Yeah, Bobby. Yeah. Bobby, Bobby Pimentel. <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. <laughs> uh, what's that there? That looks like, is that Aiden, Aiden Wilkins? Aiden Wilkins. Is that? that Stick looks, rod. It looks like plate. some more farmer rod there on AC or something, huh? You know, I've only welded with the AC machine just a couple times. Have you? Yeah, is that the neighbor's one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> My father-in-law, that's all he had running around was an AC machine. Yeah, that showed up down there one day, and his uh, bales, uh, spikes was broke. And yeah. I had to go over and dig out a 30-year-old rod off the shelf and <laughs> yeah. weld it back together. But they weld weird, but they get it done. Yeah, they do. I mean, it was set good. It welded Yeah, great. it'll hold on to it. Yeah. I don't know. It looks like this guy's learning. Looks like looks like we're practicing. Definitely got to clean that thing up Got to clean there. it off. That kind of looks like he's got it on galvanized, that, that weird white. On the edges? Yeah. Looks like you've been burning galvanize away. I don't know. Seven. I'm going to say seven. Yeah, it's a solid number. No. Oh, seven on the top yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Bottom yes. one. Yep, yep. We'll, we'll <laughs> now that we zoomed one. in, we got the flashlight on it there. Yeah, seven. We might be a little generous on seven, but. Yeah. I can't tell. He's definitely cold on that bottom one. Like, he's cold and fast. Finally kind of started getting together on that top one. Seven. Come on over to Instagram there, TikTokers. Talk tickers. Come see what we're doing over there. I guess apparently it's easier to see our welds over there, so jump over there, DM Other us. Other guys on uh Facebook. What are they up to? They doing any face space? Messaging on there? On face space, TikTokers don't even know what face space is. <laughs> I wonder how many of them really know what MySpace is. Remember what yeah, MySpace that's what, yeah. <laughs> they probably don't know what face space means. <laughs> Uh, uh, Justin McCauley gonna get a rate 309 wire at 185 amps Ooh. at least he knows that stainless wants a little heat heck yeah dude oh yeah that'll work that one that that one on the outside left there that I would say is probably the yeah that's the most it. proficient one for sure that's the best one looks there. like you had a little stumble right in the middle of that middle one there yep what was the rest of the story? Is he how how old is he? Is he younger, older, in school, college, what? In school, in Tennessee, and getting ready to get the stainless on practice and see how. Yeah, you're doing just fine if you're yeah, in school, man. Great. You're doing good. Like yeah, for for someone who's in school, that's a solid nine for for learning. That <laughs> looks good, real good. I would. The only thing I could say is you ran one on each side and one down the middle. If you can, try to overlap from one side to the other. It's, it's not that it doesn't happen to run one down the middle when you're overlapping, but it's not very yeah. common. No, speaking of running one down the middle, um, I was actually told, and I, I've done it before, just mm -hmm. like, see, like in yep. situations where you get a lot of vibration. Yeah. I was actually told, like, if you're doing stringers, yeah. um, you run your ones down the side and then one out the middle. I was always told it's stronger. You ever heard that? No, not that it's stronger. It's always a procedure um, issue. But I no, I've never, I've never been I mean, told that. I mean, I was told that. I've never had any proof of it. But I wonder if it doesn't take away that that little bit of stress riser where when you overlap things in the middle and it gets rid of that valley in the middle. So I wonder. I mean. I've done it just because, yeah. like, I was just curious. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, no, like I say, you don't see it often. It's it's not that it doesn't happen. It's just not common. Like, you don't notice it that much. No, not really. That heavy mining, that dual shield, that's a – they're real big into, um, like, blend grinding to get rid of stress risers. They want oh, yeah. zero spots for a crack to start. Like, it doesn't take nothing, I guess. Grinder and paint, make a welder what he ain't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't weld good, weld a lot. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I mean, 
I've, I mean, I'll, I mean, I'll go ahead and admit, I'll just, I'll tell on myself here a little bit when yeah. I'm just starting getting going. I mean, yep. some of my stick caps didn't look the greatest. Yep. We always had to paint them. We had to carry around a can of paint. Yep. Let's see. I mean, there might have been a few chains where I, I sprayed that thing where it's a little hot, where it kind of bubbled and fell in to make it look a little prettier, but <laughs> smoothed it off. <laughs> <clears throat> We've Not all, everybody was born perfect like you. Yeah, Jay. right. I was gonna say we've all been. Jeez, I still gotta paint mine. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> then you know, like I've done that too. I go the opposite way too. You have a beautiful, slick looking weld, and then they'll paint it, and you come back by, and you're like, oh. yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're like, don't don't paint that one. <laughs> <laughs> At least the they painted over. Yeah, for you. <laughs> they painted over my initials, on this, my stencils on that weld. <laughs> no the only kidding, one that man. knows is me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Golly, yeah. No kidding. No, everybody, we've all been through it, especially coming up, man. You, you, you learn, that's how you learn is making mistakes. And there's been more than once I've had to grind a cap off because QC didn't like it. And right. You get tired of getting yelled at, so you learn not to do it. <laughs> for sure. What do we got here? So, through, what did we say? Three, what did I say? 309 was a nine, right? Is that what I Yeah. Yeah, nine all the way up there, Justin McCauley. Keep it up. You're on, your, you're on the road. Devante, oh, this is Acuna. Devante this is Acuna. the old forklift welder here. Oh, from from last week. Is yeah. That... Well, you should have seen a skit. Like, I bet it's still in. The, is it in the messages here? Does it go back farther than than just today? Gotta go back and show James and see if it was. Oh, right there. Yeah, he's hanging from a strap. <laughs> Doing a little oh welding. yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, that old. That old. Nylon sling scraping on that steel up top of there. <laughs> Don't swing sideways too fast. <laughs> yeah, I can see my safety meeting. <laughs> I like this guy. He must be an artist. Hopefully worker. you're able to attend it. Yeah, Looks right. Like yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Hopefully you made it to the safety <laughs> meeting. <laughs> must be an iron worker. <laughs> uh, oh, What's that say? This is a... I can't hop shop. on the. Oh, I can't hop on the line today. I'm at the shop. Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Recovering yeah. from the strap fall. <laughs> uh, uh, not bad. Doing some doing some iron work. I knew it. I called it. He's an iron worker. That's what it was. Only an iron worker would hang off his sling like yeah, if that. If I remember right, there's comment. He said he worked for his dad. Ah. Uh, okay. The regular Devonte Acuna, huh? Yeah. Right on, man. Right on. They don't let you do that anymore. Oh, no. Hanging off straps like that. What we got here? Dan. Dan the man. Dan the man. Oh, we got a little... Uh, That's some dual, dual shield, shield there, isn't it? Yeah. It appears so. TikTokers, come over to Instagram. Come check this stuff out. We've had about every process on here now. We've had some good ones. Wire, stick, TIG. We've had some good welds on there. I haven't seen any downhill welds no, yet, though. No, we haven't seen any downhill welds. all them pipeliners had out no, there? They're all out of work. They, they retired. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they're still busy. They got their hood down. Getting some pipelines in the ground so the fuel prices will go yeah, down. Right. Yeah, hurry up and get the pipe in the ground so fuel prices come down. <laughs> pipeliners, damn. I don't know, for dual shield, that looked pretty good for a single bead fillet. There's some porosity in the middle of that. What is that oh, there? Yeah. Worm, wormholes. Some good old wormholes. Stick out a dirty tip or who knows what the problem was. Bad gas. That's the one thing about dual shield. It's, you there's so many variables go, there. You man. never know what caused you it. You never know. A little I mean, garbage on your rollers will get you. Yeah. I don't know. That one with porosity, that's like a five. That We'd have to grind that out and start over. But that one down there on that T-plate, that looked pretty good. Let's average that out to a seven. And we got over here in the comments. Do you have any recommendations for a welding school near Dallas, Texas? Recommendations for a welding school. You have to now. You got to bleep us out for this guy here. Gerbs, <laughs> <laughs> Gerbs eight, Gerbs eight. Well, there was a really good uh, high school down there in Huntsville, Texas. I, that's the only one I've been to down there. I mean. Yeah. I would say them guys are pretty good. They yeah. put on a heck of a welding competition. But, good. Uh, good. Boys. I mean, 
Sounds like our competition was pretty good. Oh, like yeah. We had a good turnout. Yeah, it was awesome. Good. Yeah, you missed it, Jim. No, no, oh, I yeah, was you there. Oh, there. gosh, no. I, I right actually, before. I moved my vacation because I booked my trip to miss the welding competition. I didn't know it. I thought we were still having it in April. And I came in and seen the calendar when it really was. So I had to cancel that and move my trip to where I left afterwards. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's definitely an event not to miss. Oh, gosh. It was a blast. It was a blast. They Same. always are. They're, they're yeah. a lot of work, but they are fun. Met so many cool people. I mean, they were. Yeah. The long, furthest drive I seen, I talked to anybody. They drove 22 hours up here to come compete the welding competition. Holy it was cow. amazing. Well, come in, and there was a school bus sitting there in the parking lot. They rolled in at 2 o'clock in the morning yep. and slept in the school bus. Those boys come from come Washington, in. yep. Yep, yeah. slept in the parking lot. A couple of them slept right out the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got here? What's next? Blake Abbott, 7018, horizontal. Ooh, what's that big old arc track going up Ooh, there? Oh, man, got her stuck and ripped her loose, didn't we? Whoops, whoops. And a pinhole. Big old the... hole in the end. So when you, when you stop that 7018, Come to the end when you're getting ready to stop. Come to the end and then back into that slag before you pull out. So we actually had that conversation last Tuesday. Did also. you? Yeah. Talking about when you get to the end, coming back in the well and yep. pulling out. It keeps you from leaving that crater. Yep, yep. A lot of times yep. rip it. You just yanked right out yep. of it. Right and I was saying the, the same thing. Like on the start up there, you missed that little. It's about a quarter inch according yep. to the camera. It might be a little more, a little less. Can't tell you. Yeah. But uh I'll, I'll fire up and I'll come back. I do the same thing. I'll kind of start my puddle a little bit, then I'll, I'll push that puddle backwards a little bit so it gets right to the edge, and then I'll take then off. Then you take off, you get your whole weld in there. Yep. Yeah. Edges need to be a little cleaner. I'm going to give that one a – I'll give that one a seven. The, the, the Most of it's pretty good. Most of it's good. Needs to clean the edges up. Needs to get rid of the pinhole and the arc strike. Now, you guys got to remember here, Jay's a QC, so – uh it's pretty hard. He's going to sit here and pick your welds <laughs> apart pretty good. And he, he's not going to let anything slide. I've had to be the bad guy for a while. So you learn how to you learn right. how to say it and not feel bad, I guess. <laughs> That's where, for a little bit, we called him the Ice Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Trap. Trap. What? Baker. Google. Bo. We can't search that kind of stuff on Google now. We're in, we're in live. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a... Looks like downhill could be 60-10, but no, is that wire? Zoom in there, Bo. Oh yeah, that's that's wire, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Look at the. That's a that's a wire. There. That's a hard wire. Nice job, you tricked me. Yeah. Tricked me for a minute. Good. I thought it was a I it's pretty it was good a steps there. Speed, yeah. Just whipping her back and forth yeah, on that yeah. one. That actually looks really nice, other than the spatter. Clean them BBs. Clean that buckshot off there. Bucks not. What do you think? Is that a seven and a half, or is that a eight, maybe? I'd call it an eight. Yeah. I think it's a nice-looking weld to get rid of the buckshot, and that baby's a nine or a ten. Ooh, what's this one here? Question over there. How important do you think welding school is? I feel like a lot is learned in the field. You are 100% correct. A lot is learned in the field, but uh, you got to be capable yep. of getting in the field on I mean, yeah, there's, you can you can take off and go into the field and be somebody's yep. helper or yep. start out as a helper or fire watch even and start hanging around these guys and learning and work yep. your way up. But it's going to take you a solid five, six years to just get to where you could if you went to welding yep. school for six months. Yep. I was just going to oh. say, so you, you did welding school for six months, right? It was seven months. So seven yeah, months. Yep. So I, I, did, I did the other route. I had kind of a blend. So I had, I had some welding training. Uh, through a big construction company who had their own training program, but I only went to that training for two weeks every summer for that's, welding. That's TIC, right? Yeah, TIC. Yeah. I then, love that company. That's a good company. They were good. They 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 were better then. Yeah. I think they are I now. But worked a few jobs. For yeah. Guys, yep. Sorry so to no, no, you're right. I I agree. I I really like them. Um, so I worked for them all year long. Then I went to their school for two weeks, basically fifty hours a week, for two weeks welding. Took me two solid years to finally get where I could pass a welding test and I finally started welding so I I'd pour concrete all year long then I'd go to welding school and learn how to weld and not really get to use it and then go pour concrete so I learned a lot like I learned a lot of layout and a lot of the other processes of construction but I didn't get to do what I wanted to do it it was two years before I could actually do it so 
depends on how 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 fast you want to get to Weldon. Yeah. Weldon school is extremely important if you want to do yeah, it in yeah. six months. But good luck doing that if you're not going to school. Like, yeah, like it can be done. Well, you got both both scenarios right here: two years, six months. Yeah, it was pretty. I mean, I knew I did. I needed to go to work. But yeah, hey, I was I was willing to put in that six months. Yep. Yep. Yeah. What we got here for some welds? Buenos, man, that's a rough name to pronounce. Chain hooks. What kind of rod is that? Must be like a high chrome for them high tensile hooks or something, huh? Yeah, it's definitely different. Well, yeah, it is. It's pretty colors. They look good, yeah. Yeah, I wonder what, the, I wonder what that's for. Oh, Who yeah, is this? That's a double back hook. I wonder what the back hooks are back like. Back to back like that for. Uh, it makes me curious. It's a mason jar. <laughs> <laughs> come on over tiktokers let's come over to instagram uh at western welding academy come look at these welds we got some good ones on here tonight who is this what is it mason jar motorsports 10-4 mr kentucky yes sir mason jar motorsports those look good i don't know what that is i honestly it looks like a stick weld it looks like a stainless stick weld with a bunch of color in it but it doesn't really look like stainless stick either i don't know no, it doesn't that's a hard one it's a good looking weld though. It is. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give it a. Gosh, I don't know. I'm gonna give it a ten just for uniqueness. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty baffled, honestly. Come on, yeah. Mason Jar Motorsports, give us some explanation. What is it? What are you working on? What kind of rod? Give us, give us something to work with. Like, not only that, I want to learn something. Like, if I'd, I'd like to see what that is. Maybe it's some rod we can get at school. Oh, waiting on the rate. We we'll give it a ten, right? Yeah. 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 I liked it. I don't know what it was for, but curious. Reese Keaton. A little stainless pipe welding. Reese Wonder Keaton. That sounds 10. like a movie star name. Reese Keaton. Oh, oh did like you see Bo stuck the arrow right on the, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Bo stuck the arrow right on the track there. <laughs> yeah. Walked right outside the bevel when he broke that arc. Got some big old steps going big on old, there. Big old Real old narrow, old. like a... Man, I'd like to see that weld. He got the walls tied in, though. Yeah. Looks like it's a little bit warm. I wonder if that's not Schedule 10 or something. That's what it kind of looks like, how narrow that is. It's got to yeah. be Schedule 10. Yep. It's hard to uh, get really good color. We'll see color if he out. comments and tells us what it is. Yeah. It's really hard to get good color out of Schedule 10, Oh, too. for sure. You, you got to like you're always burning it. You got to go take an hour lunch and then come back and right. cap that sucker. Yep. Yeah. Schedule 10 is not for the faint of heart. It is that's not. For sure. It is tough. It is tough. You you know, people think that smaller, skinnier pipe isn't that hard because it's less work, but you got to deal with the heat. <laughs> Just started a few months ago, been trying and trying to learn on my own. Rate whichever one y'all want. Y'all, yeah, whichever one you want. Excuse me, summer. Yeah, those yeah, seventy eighteen there. Oh yeah, yeah, we got a little little Doing work some. to do. Do some rollouts. Yeah. It's not terrible. Need to clean it. Got to clean the weld. Got a little smoke on the edges still. Like you just scraped the slag off and took a picture of it. Yeah. I don't know. The stainless weld, I think, it's is a little, little better, better than that. Oh, yeah. I think so, too. I'd go with the – I'm probably going to go with the 7 on that stainless because it drug that drug that stop off into the pipe. Yeah. And it's yeah. pretty black. There's a, there's a pretty good little trick out there to make them stops nice and colorful. You got to come to school to learn that, though. We can't give all of our secrets away. <laughs> apply, apply to weld.com. That's the only way you learn the really, really good secrets. What do we got there? Harley Milligan. Some 6010s. Harley must be learning. Oh, man. What is a. Uh, so, just, just an FYI, it's not 60 slash 10, it's just 6010. That's our first lesson. Next lesson, looks like we need to speed up a little bit. What is he, are we trying? Is that just a piece of old scrap plate? Need to speed up there, fella. We got, yeah, you're going too yeah. slow. It need a little, sorry, let's say no, need a little bit ahead. more weld there. Oh, there's some longer ones. Let's say need yeah. a little more weld to look at there. Yeah. Um, it's really hard to tell when it's only about an inch long. There you go. Again, really need to picture. clean it off. A little faster though that time, maybe too fast now. You've got to find that speed. 
Watch yeah. that puddle. It'll tell you everything, man. Get it to a certain size and keep it that size. I bet he's long arcing on that one, too, if I had to guess. I don't know. I'll give you a six for working on it, man. Like, you got, you got, some, you got a ways to go, but you're doing it, so it's a six anyways. But don't don't get discouraged. That six compared to what's been on here, you're doing all right. We've had some really good wells, man. There's some downhill. Downhill roll up. Is it? No. No. Nope. Low high. A little low high roll low out. High roll Look out. at that roll out wheel right there. You're yep. supposed to chop that thing out yep. so you can't tell you rolled it out. Low high roll out. <laughs> Pretty slick well, though. Yeah, it looks really good. Real good. Yeah, that's, that's definitely nice. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Ten for a rollout. Anybody can do a rollout, though. <laughs> that's just like welding flat. It is. I mean, That's why a, everybody goes for the rollout wheel. <laughs> yeah. It's a 1G position right there. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, it looks good, though. Like, clean, clean, even, even edges. Probably pounding out about 50 of them two-inch welds a day on that rollout. Guy knows what he's doing. Who was it? I didn't catch his name. Brandon. Brandon. Oh. Bihario. 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 Aren't you supposed to roll your tongue on the double R? <laughs> Bihario. I don't know. I haven't been uh, exploring the country, <laughs> the world I'm like that you. I'm my so. helpers, man. <laughs> Bihario. Yeah. What do we got there? Let's see. I haven't seen, I haven't been reading the comments. Like, I forget about those over there. Accepted into my high school, what, what, accepted into my high school welding program for next year. Can't wait to start it all. Heck right yeah. on, young, young God, young underscore God seven. Yeah, you're going to be a <laughs> weld right there. Yep. Yep. Oh, Big yeah. welder That's the attitude the to have. Worst. Any uh, students from Iowa? I'm 23 from Iowa. Yes, we actually just had a kid just started from Iowa. Yeah. Um. Can't remember what town you said he was from, but oh, uh, can't remember. But there are. Yes, we do. Uh, oh, we did. Just had we? one graduate yeah. from Iowa. Apparently, awesome. Yeah. Iwegians. Yeah. That's what we call them in South Dakota. I don't know why. <laughs> that's a South Dakota deal. I'm not really oh. <laughs> Radiant Cookie. <laughs> Underscore at Trey Wells Radio. underscore four oh two man. Can you make a handle any longer? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you beg women to talk to you or just men? <laughs> wow! Whoa! Oh, that's a good one. Them's fight words there. <laughs> you what can you weld as good as Jay can. You don't have to beg anybody to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You the get, weld does the talking. You get to welding, and then pretty soon they put you on live. Take that kind of abuse. <laughs> don't worry guys i got some thick skin you get some thick skin growing up in this in this industry <laughs> yeah reese keaton oh yeah we rated yeah him. we already rated was a seven. Oh, it was a 304 stainless three inch what schedule was it there reese oh schedule 10 schedule oh yeah 10. nailed it nice right on yes sir yep it's good. pretty good job for that yep. three inch schedule 10 that yep. is a pretty rough weld to make yep. not gonna lie yep Made a lot of them in some ethanol plants, that's for sure. Ooh. I uh, I was more of a heavy duty welder. I I did a little bit of Schedule Ten, Schedule Five, Schedule Ten, you know, on various yeah. jobs. But my majority of it was between forty and one hundred and sixty, and you know, thousand walls, yeah. twelve inch thousand walls, seventy eighteen. Yeah. The one bad thing about Schedule Ten is if you have to cut a weld out and make a new make a weld again, oh, like if it's too short or something, yeah. you gotta. Well, then a used pipe to a new fitting yeah. or something. Yeah. That stuff shrinks. Yep. Like crazy. Yep. I mean, you could almost take and fit the welded pipe into the new fitting. Like it shrinks so much. Yeah. Almost make a socket weld. If yeah. You say, but, yep. Uh, Actually, we I just had a guy yesterday finish a stainless weld on a piece of three inch, I think, just three inch carbon. Yeah. And that I I was able to show him how much that stainless weld shrunk that carbon. You can see the the lump that or the belly that it leaves in there. Oh yeah. Oh, it'd do that for sure, especially yeah. weld all that oh, time. Yeah. But I found one little trick because I was getting um, harassed big time by the QC because we had to do a lot of cutouts and rework because yeah. um, the steel was wrong. Steel right. didn't match our right. prints. Right. Um, so we did it. I mean, it was an ungodly amount of rework and cutouts. 
Um, but I found the how to do it is like we had some used fittings and new pipe because um, we were reusing the fittings, of course, because yeah. stainless is highly expensive. Yeah. Um, so if you take and you run your nice little like you nice little bead right around the inside of your pipe right on the end yeah and then you go ahead and take the cone rock and clean that back out of there yeah that heat will shrink that pipe back down to the same size as that you're talking the new pipe running around the the new new pipe pipe. that pulls it down to where you that's awesome yeah that's awesome i mean i I had to do that because i mean i was getting like i was like what do you want me to do like there's nothing i can do about this i can't stop let me weld it or yeah we don't weld it like yeah. So, I mean, they were always fussing about the high-low. I yeah. mean, because you don't have an eighth-inch high-low, but, yeah. I mean, <laughs> when your material's only an eighth-inch an eighth <laughs> Yeah, day, right. It's pretty rough. <laughs> Slide it inside into a butt weld <laughs> or a, a lap joint. <laughs> what? There was some message on there the Bo Utiful left us, and I don't know what. So, it, it was TIG with MG600 tool steel with a stainless base. Wow. That's, uh, nice. that's new to me. That's something I had never... I have never heard of. I'm gonna have to do a little research. That's awesome. MG six hundred. Yeah, look into that wire. I yeah, bet that's a pretty tough wire. I bet it welds. Be- it looks Probably. like it, it looks like it welds though. really nice for really TIG. Nice for, color. See, he's what do he say? Yeah, TIG. Yeah, TIG. Yeah. For a TIG weld. Wow. Nice. That's that's pretty cool. Thank you for that. Uh, I was really curious about those ones. Why are those hooks opposite backwards? What are you building? Yeah. That, yeah. That's cute. Car- opposite each other they one faces one way and one faces the other like the chain's got to slide in there to diagonal and and lock in let's see ready okay Ooh. Ooh, let's uh let's what, get that one what you got let's get he's <laughs> like let's pick that one apart i want to beat this guy up <laughs> Ooh. Man, that's that's pretty hard. I mean, not knowing these people or where yeah, they're at, is, how yeah, far yeah. they're in their welding career. Um, yep, been at it. Haven't haven't been self taught. Haven't been at it in, in four months. He's laying random, random beads. beads. Looks like random beads on random plate on random rod, <laughs> like in random heats. Yeah, I mean that's uh, that's still cool though. You go out there, you haven't yeah. done in a while, and fire up the welder, yep, and make a weld. I actually did that the other day um, did you? at the house. Old machine I hadn't used before. Yeah. I had to go out there and fire it up. And, uh, yeah. It actually that little section doesn't look bad. The very end of stop is a little rough, but yeah. the the rest is good. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Six because it's so short. Alrighty. Well, guys, uh, let's do one more rate my weld here, and uh, then we'll go ahead and wrap this thing up here and see who won. I know we had a lot of tens. We might have to do a do a draw and see who won this one. Yeah, we had some good. We had some good welds. I'm trying to read some of the flower pots stolen from my from me today. Ten flower pots. What? <laughs> <laughs> there was a Peruvian on there, and somebody had their flower pot stolen. Man, that's that's a bubble. Holy cow! What are we building here? Exhaust manifolds or something? That's hardwire. Boy, that's a good looking hardwire too. There's that nice yeah. welds. Oh yeah, yeah doing some fabrication. There, yeah. What were them? Other, there were some other ones on there that looked like stainless. Some rainbow rod. Some spot welds. Holding your pieces together. Golly, that looks good. Is that, or, or, let's pick. Let's do that bottom one right there. Then bottom two there where it's round. Let's yeah, check them yeah. There we out. go. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's some taking. That looks like a machine. Like, I don't know, dude. That looks like a robot did that. I think this guy's cheating. <laughs> I think he's cheating, huh? Yeah. That's how do you stop good. like that? Like, he's got a foot pedal. That's how he does it, isn't it? Got to be. Got to have a foot pedal or, or a, some sort of some sort of heat control, rheostat control, for a stop like that. Those are robot slick. Like, I think honestly. What's that very bottom one with the colors there? You know, oh, uh, we watched a laser welder up there at Fat Tech in Chicago, and that thing couldn't even weld that, that Yeah, good. it couldn't even weld that good. Like, we we seen robots welding that. Yeah, I want to see that one there with the colors. What's he doing? <laughs> oh, we're Googling this on the Internet. Man, somebody trying to fill us yeah. full of a bunch of crap again. Yeah. Oh. Our, uh. 
our lie detector team will get you, dude. It's yes, they gonna will. Be legit. Like, yeah. Just so you guys know, we have a whole crew back behind the scenes here. It, it, They're surfing yeah. the internet on every yeah. picture, see if they can yeah. pull it up. It's so. not just us. It's like fifty people that put this together. Like this is <laughs> this is a deal. Fifty. Oh, I was corrected. Fifty three. We got fifty three people, and a small child that do this. So. <laughs> We're not just a welding school. We're a production studio. We even, I think we got a movie coming out like two summers from now. I'm certain of it. I don't remember what it's called, but I'll, we'll get back with you on the next live on that one. I'll leave <laughs> yeah. that to Bo to come up so with. Yeah, this one, after, I mean, seeing some of your picture, that's a, well, uh, we're not going to rate that one. We're going to have to say that was a machine done. That that's one. a machine. There's no way. I want to meet this guy if or this person, Mike. De Lucia. He's Italian. <laughs> Italian. He's Italian. Probably works in that factory where they make all the stainless fittings. Yeah. Well, what's that say? Holding it down for the bench top boy. Wisconsin <laughs> Art Tig weld at 187 amps using a weld positioner. No pulse. No pulse. Was he dead or what? <laughs> They got it. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I'm I'm pretty skeptical. Like I want to call BS on that one. It's pretty good though. It is good. Like I know A lot that's of right. It's too good. It's too good to be true. Mike Lucci, even those look like a machine made. I'm like, <laughs> maybe he is a machine. He could be one of them guys that you run out on the job site and you're just like, I freaking love welding with this guy, but I hate his talent. <laughs> he's probably one of them dudes that's just a, such a good dude and then he goes out and welds and makes you feel like crap just because he's a good dude and he welds that good <laughs> I don't know that's like a 11 I mean well I mean that's oh, that makes good. for me that's what it is man I, I'm good we'll have to do a few replays and a little uh, surfing here make sure that weld's not a an online picture like the last one had one, had one surfing oh, yeah. online, feeding us. But uh, that might be a. Wow. I mean, if it is, I am impressed. Like, that is nice. TIG Tuesday. You know I've welded next to Pondermatic, who's the best TIG welder in the United States. And oh, I don't know about that. This I mean, guy. I've seen him do stuff better than that. And this, I didn't think anybody else existed out there like that. ER-70S2 rods, some 4130 plate and tube. 70s2 so on carbon yeah he made that carbon look like stainless yeah wow you think maybe i think that guy i'm impressed man nice job i believe that's a winner mike, there mike oh. delucia wow even your your mig welds look good i'm i'm jealous honestly <laughs> i'm speechless I have to, I have to, now I have to retire. I got to quit. Like, you ruined my day, dude, because it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you can be now is a CWI. Yep. See. <laughs> yep. I'll just come to your shop and pick your stuff apart. I won't even have paperwork to do. Like, I'll just right. hang out there and BS all So time. is that going to be our winner for the night? It is for me. If that stuff's legit, man, yeah, that's uh, it. If it checks out, I believe, Mike, Lucia, you are the winner of our, yes, sir. this night's Rate My Weld. Yep. Um, you got a kudos. Go man. ahead and uh, DM us all your info, and we'll see about getting you a hat or some Mr. sunglasses Deluccia, in the mail. So. I want to see you do that on an open butt piece of pipe in position. We'll see how good you I want to see a live video. Oh, yeah. there it is. Oh, yeah. So he sends us one. <laughs> Look at that guy go. Golly. Who is it? Um, Dabs Wellington. I always see him doing that kind oh, of yeah. stuff. Like, that's, that's artwork there, dude. Yep. And I'll have to say, hats off to you. Them's yeah. good looking welds. Yeah, look at him dabbing on it. Man, it's probably, one right after another. He's probably one, one of them after. guys that's like 19 years old and been doing it for two weeks. <laughs> I don't know. I think I could be better. <laughs> no, you can't, dude. I yeah. don't think so. <laughs> like, yeah, I believe that's our winner for this night's Rate yeah. My Weld. Um, you guys, uh, make sure to come back next Tuesday night at 6 o'clock and visit again for our next live. Um, but now we're out. We'll uh, see you yep. guys on the next weld. See you on the next weld.